STEM-related occupations in Indiana are projected to grow 17% by 2018. That's compared to 9.8% growth for non-STEM occupations. Less than one in three college-bound students is interested in pursuing a STEM major. I want to be a mechanical engineer. I want to be an investment banker. I want to be a software engineer. I want to be an electrical engineer. If we can't produce the skilled workforce that the state of Indiana needs, economic growth will cease. Checkpoint is about building a growing, thriving, robust technology industry in the state of Indiana today. The Checkpoint Foundation for Youth is about growing tomorrow's future technology leaders to participate in that technology industry. Our foundation supports workforce development in the state of Indiana by providing both the human and financial resource requirements to programs that we think will have a large student impact. As a venture philanthropy organization, we partner with these programs to help them achieve their goals, attain self-sufficiency, and grow to scale throughout the state of Indiana. We call these projects greenhouse initiatives, and through these initiatives, we grow Indiana's future. Indiana First is an organization that is helping to grow robotics programs statewide. Our goal is to give students access while they're in elementary and high school to inspiring programs that'll get them excited about STEM. I've been a part of the FIRST Robotics program for four years. I have an internship at Roche Diagnostics just down the street and it was me up against eight or nine guys, the top guys in my class. Before I got into the robotics team and really got into the classes of engineering and technology, I was a little bit intimidated, especially because I heard that it's mostly a boy type of thing, but I knew how to apply my skills that I learned in the classroom. And so now I'm working in research and development on meters to help people with diabetes in the mechanical engineering department over at Roche. Came to New Tech because the high school counselors wanted us to just explore a new program here at Arsenal Tech because this was my boundary school. Uh, it was just an academy about technology and just uh, preparing you for the 21st century world. So. I thought I'd just try something new for once, and I loved it ever since. New Tech also helped us prepare for the 21st century workforce because it helped us uh, develop our presentation skills as well as our collaboration skills, too. 55% of Indiana jobs will require some form of post-secondary education by 2018. In 2007, we launched our greenhouse initiative, New Tech High at Arsenal Tech. And four years later, we graduated 80% of those students and 75% of them went on to post-secondary education. Those kids graduated not only with a high school degree, but with the 21st century skills that our workforce demands. In 2003, a group of friends and I saw a need, and we had an idea to bridge the digital divide and connect grandparents with their grandchildren. TechPoint Foundation for Youth helped us plant the seed to found this organization. Today, more than 3,500 student volunteers have refurbished over 20,000 computers and have provided increased computer access to over 170,000 individuals. Change my life. Share your talent. Mentor a student. Make a gift. Become a volunteer.